Good morning and happy Halloween. I'm wearing part of a costume that Lee made for me a few years ago when Sarah and I were in a play at the church. I'm wearing the costume also so we can talk a little bit today about Halloween, if you can stop laughing at me long enough. Halloween has its origins all the way back more than 2,000 years ago when the Celtic people living in what is now Scotland were uh, living in a time when they thought that from October 31st to November 1st was sort of the transition from the harvest time and the summer, the growing season, into the winter. And that then for them was a transition from life into death. It also was for them an evening when they were afraid. Afraid that it was also a transition time, if, if from life into death, then a time when those who had already died could return and haunt and terrify and scare those who were remaining. And so part of the reason for wearing costumes was to hide from those evil spirits, perhaps, or to try to frighten the evil spirits back away, to, to double down. If you're going to frighten me, I'll try to frighten you. Later, when the church came, when Christianity came to those lands, rather than trying to ban the holiday completely, the church did what it often did. It took the holiday and said, how can we make this holiday a celebration of some of the truths that we find in Jesus Christ? And so instead of October 31st and November 1st being the transition from uh, life into death, it really became a transition from death into life. November 1st became the day that we celebrate the saints. We celebrate the lives of all of those faithful Christians who have gone on before us. Rather than returning to haunt us and to terrify us, we remember them and we remember, and we remember they are a great cloud of witnesses that are cheering us on as we continue to try to live our lives. Likewise, wearing of costumes became not a way to try to scare away evil spirits, but a way to have fun, a way to, to celebrate a little bit, to be a little bit silly. Julian of Norwich, the woman we met a few months ago when we did our uh, body prayer with her, she had a vision once where she laughed at the devil and the devil ran away. And that's where we get the phrase, laugh at the devil and he will flee from you. And that is kind of what we do when we dress up in costumes. We aren't trying to frighten away evil spirits, but we're trying to say that we have trust in God. And so we don't have to worry about those things. And when we are able to laugh and enjoy ourselves and even laugh at those things which are frightening, it is a way of chasing the devil away because it's a way of saying that we trust in God more than we trust in anything else. And so I hope and I pray that this Halloween for you will be a day of fun, a day of laughter, and then tomorrow we will celebrate the saints. We will remember all of those who have been faithful. We will uh, shed a tear perhaps, but also share many smiles as we remember those who have gone on before us and we trust that they are with God, just as we will be one day. And we do all of these things because God is with us. Amen.